One in every 10 serious crashes in our state involves a bicycle or a pedestrian, a number that CDOT is trying to improve. So they decided to crowdsource a solution and you delivered. Denver 7's Jason Grenauer is live tonight to show us these cutting edge ideas. Jason. Yes, well, and it's not exactly Star Trek bicycles, but it's getting pretty close. Imagine you're riding your bike here down the bike lane on South Broadway as lights illuminate your path. Then you get close to the intersection that lights up in brightly colored lights that are producing their own electricity. Oh, and then if you come across a problem, you can let the city know with a simple ring on that bicycle bell. CDOT didn't have any luck. We couldn't come up with any great ideas internally, so we said, why don't we throw it out to the world? So this is what you came up with. Bigfoot. No, not Sasquatch, just a way of lighting things up as you ride. These lights will follow the bike as it approaches, and also it's going to make drivers, it's gonna make pedestrians and bikers aware of their surroundings. Then there's Color Roadie, another LED concept. This warns you, even if you're not paying attention and you see lights in the road ahead. There are also solar panels that produce power, a net gain over the course of a year. So instead of your bike path in this case, or your road or your sidewalk or parking, lot, baking in the sun, doing nothing else, it actually collects solar energy. And finally, we're the Liberty Bell team. All the way from Ireland with a way of logging issues on your ride by ringing a Bluetooth enabled bell. It could be a pothole, it could be a near miss, it could be a door opening. That data gets compiled and sent along. Kind of like how Waze lets you track accidents and police activity. The municipality can start to see, oh, along this corridor, we're getting a lot of reports about some particular issues. All three of these concepts will be tried out in Colorado over the next eight months on CDOT's dime. The one that works best gets 150 grand. We would love to see some of the ideas that are hatched here today become a standard, not only in Colorado, but everywhere. Now that Liberty Bell concept, that's going to be tested out in Boulder. As for the other two, it's still TBD on exactly where they will be installed. But the next time you either ride through or across one of these bike paths, you see it lighting up in bright LEDs, you know, somebody's there. Reporting live tonight along South Broadway, I'm Jason Grenauer, Denver 7. Great ideas. Thank you, Jason. By the way, CDOT also gave out a total of $50,000 to five ideas that they may implement at their discretion. That includes changes to road signs, increased lighting, more LED options that include optic lasers, and finally improvements to the Colorado Driver's Handbook. Up